Once again, it's on. It's your boy Carcino right. here. And let's talk about this. Captain Jack returned. I didn't even know he had said nothing else. I thought this dude was dumb, done being dumb. Now, if anybody needs an advisor, you need to be talking to that old Freddy Krueger uh, PR guy from LeBron James team. You need to be in contact with him. While LeBron ain't got you him, instead of giving you some gym shoes, he need to give you Freddy. Freddy need to come over there and work with you because he could tell you to shut your mouth. Captain Jack, shut your mouth. Ha 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 ha. You talking too goddamn much. This ain't about you. Ha 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 ha. Captain Jack. This fool, Captain Jack, still believes all of this is about him somehow. <laughs> and that it's up to him. It's up to Captain Jack to make a statement some damn way. Like, are you serious, Captain Jack? Are you serious that we are depending on you? All you doing is making yourself look stupid, stupider, and stupider. As even if it's a word. To define your ignorance. And we do not dwell in your psychosis, sir. Translation, what you call facts, is just flat out stupidity. See, let's let, let me let y'all listen to Jack and shout out to Self Talk. Self Talk was the one that kept, that captured this live. I didn't get it. He got it. So Self Talk on YouTube. Shout out to at Kwame Brown Bus Life for also bringing this up. And I was out. I didn't even know he had opened his mouth again. I'm like, there's no way. This dude would be stupid enough to open his mouth again after what he just did. That thing backfired right in his face. How many times is the dynamite going to keep blowing up in your face, Wildy Coyote? Damn. That acne bomb just keep going off in your face and you realize, damn, I could have bought something to eat instead of trying to kill this damn road runner. Beep, beep. <laughs> so this wily coyote bastard, Captain Jack, want to continue to talk. Well, let's take it back and listen to what old Captain Jack. You hate the people who hate the truth. Ask yourself, why they didn't offer her the job initially? Why they didn't offer Maria the job initially? Before they even gave it to Rachel, why didn't they offer it to her then? They only did that because they didn't want to look like racists during the Black Lives Matter and, 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 and the movement was going on when George Floyd happened. It's just that, it's just that simple. They, if they wanted her to have a job, they would have offered it to her initially. Right? But then they backstabbed her and released an article saying Maria said she wants Stephen A money. That she don't want the five million. She ain't never said that. You got to know when they making you, they show pony. They just didn't want to look like racist. That's why they gave her that job. Not saying she don't deserve it. But they only did. If they wanted her to have a job, they would have gave it to her initially without giving it to Rachel and taking it from Rachel. Y'all don't want them facts, huh? Jack, you got your head up your ass so far. You can't even see. Boy, let's answer your first dumbass question. Why they didn't get a show to Maria initially, huh? If they really wanted to hire Maria, why they didn't give it to her initially? And thank you for watching my video, Jack. We thank you for the viewership. Because we know I know you watched my video by you making statements that you're making. Thank you for watching the video. But it seemed like you haven't learned a damn thing. So let me educate you. Because like I say, the next day I learned more than I did the previous day. So I've always, I have always expand my knowledge. That's something you should try, Jack. Instead of just re-uttering the same stupidity every day. You sound ridiculous, son. Now, here's the problem that we have on the, tail, on the table right now. 
You wanted to know why initially that they did not give the job to Maria Taylor. Let me explain to you. Before the, you answer your question, Jack, you have to go back. Before they hired even Rachel Nichols. You got to go back. You got to do the work. Here's the work, Jack. Something you know nothing about. Sage Steel, which you should know, that was her show. And they replaced Sage Steel, moved her to Sports Center, took the show from her, and gave it to uh, Sage Steel, got replaced by Michelle Beadle. Remember the Beadle? So the Beadle was the host of the show. It became the Beatles show. And they moved her, Sage Steel, Bumped her up to Sports Center. Did Sage still go out and talk and complain and curse and scream and do all this stuff? Nope. She played her position. Why? Because the ratings and the numbers weren't good. She's a mixed woman who has a journalistic background that pretty much submits her place to be in that position. But the numbers were low. So they judged it and based and made a decision to go with Michelle Beadle because they like, well, Michelle Beadle's more popular. Maybe that'll help the show. They put it on. It didn't work. Nobody cared about Michelle Beadle. And they just like, man, this show is, is going into the ground. And at that time, they used to have the jump, which is the show that Rachel has, right? Rachel Nichols. Her show. Hmm. That wind up being the flagship for the NBA final. The jump? So what is NBA countdown for if Rachel Nichols' show was going to be the, the tie-in show for the NBA final? That's what Countdown was supposed to be, a, be about in the first place. But who pulled those strings to make that happen for Rachel? Hmm. Might have been the person she was on the phone with, right? The LBJ crew. The more than the athlete. All of them pulling their strings for Rachel. Right? But... When time was moving around, they started to see the development of one Maria Taylor. And Jack, you continuously make these statements. And what you don't realize is how condescending they are. You're probably really stupid. Well, we know you're really stupid. And you just can't comprehend in your head because you're stubborn and you're stuck on stupid. Every time you open your mouth, you're demeaning her. Do you understand that? You're putting her down to say, that's the only reason they gave her a job. That's it. That's the only reason, man, they didn't want her to be, they might have done that. Yeah, that's what it might initially look like. But let me tell you the truth. Okay? Back in August of 2019, got to do the work. In August, 2019, ESPN was doing a shakeup with Countdown. They were like, we're going to have to just shut this whole show down. And start it over from scratch. Get rid of everybody. So they brought in, what's his name? Uh, uh, Richard Desick. Richard Desick came in and started changing everything, didn't he? And what did they do? And here's the answer to your question, Jack. They gave the show to Maria Taylor in 2019, Jack. Initially, initially, she had to show Jack. Rachel had to jump. Rachel wanted that show too. And they pulled strings to get Rachel in there. And they both had the show. 
they decided to split the show with Rachel and Maria Taylor. In 2019, both of the jobs of hosting would be split between the two of them. From initially, from the moment she came in, it was never Rachel's show. Rachel made it look like it's her show. And she was pulling the, the string she always pull using her power. That's what you didn't know, Jack. ESPN wanting to give it to Maria Taylor. For three reasons, Jack. Yes, their diversity problem is one of the reasons that they want her in that position, in that seat. Yes. Two, she is a woman. So, yeah, black woman, and she's good. She could do things Rachel Nichols cannot. They know it. And they say she's good. And she's good in not this area, but many other areas. And she, Captain Jack, has a following. People actually like her, meaning the players. She doesn't have to have all the power and pulling strings. She don't have to do that. People initially root for her. You see, people are forgetting about these young 22, 25-year-old NBA players who didn't come in with the old LeBron era, all those Chris Pauls, they almost out the league. They gone, they dinosaurs. They finna be out of here. It's the Donovan Mitchells. It's the John ja Morants. Trey Youngs. Luka Doncic. It's their time now. It's their league. They're looking at Maria Taylor. They talking to Maria Taylor. Way more are they talking to Rachel. She knows her position is she's going to become the next Michelle Beadle and be on the next bus out of town. So she started to cry about it last year. They want to give the show to Maria. Why? Because they were noticing when Maria hosts the show, it's a lot better than when she was hosting the show. Captain Jack, do the work. Don't, don't minimize the sister who you claim you for, Mr. Black Power Man. Don't minimize her and her worth just because you're too stupid to do the work to find out what really went down. So if you ain't going to find out what really went down, you're just going to go whatever Rachel put in your ear because she didn't gave you some money. Because that's all you care about is somebody giving, putting some money in your hand, you big dummy. You don't realize what you're doing is condescending to everything that she works hard for and any other black woman in the world. What are you teaching your daughters, Jack? Your daughters look up to Maria Taylor as that's probably something they might want to do in life. She's an inspiration for those women that are in media. Then you see all these black men and women Come out and support her. I didn't even know they had radio stations in some of these cities. These people were coming out and support. These weren't bots. These were real people. African-American, young, in communications around the United States of America who know her. Why? Because she was covering college football. And she was spending time with... All of those people who was locally in the media, showing them the ropes, showing them the way, spending time with them, sharing her experiences with them, talking, actually giving them the time of day when she got a busy schedule to do. But you know what she was doing? She was planting roots. They was knowing who she was. She put in the work, Jack. Just because you didn't see it don't mean it wasn't being done, Jack. That's your problem. You so much ego driven and watch showing. 
You got to drop your ego at the door. You cannot call yourself Muslim or Big Umar when you still holding on to vanity. It don't work. That's in your Quran. You know that. But then again, probably not. Jack's not that bright. You see, this is what paying it forward is all about. She's an inspiration, Jack. You should be trying to say, hey, you know what? We're, we're riding for you. Not, not the fake we riding for you, Jack. The real support. The real support, Jack. She's doing the work. She's teaching the work. Because there's young African-American women. There's young women, period, that's looking at her. She's a trailblazer. And if you can't see that there's something special about her, then you a fool. And we can't help you, Jack. We can't help you. You can just miss the bus. <laughs> but there's a reason why you in the position you are, Jack. You always gonna have your hand out waiting for somebody to give you a meal. While other people who are very progressive and want to go out and do and accomplish things are out here doing those things, Jack. Your success came at the fact of your best friend or your brother, in other words, losing his life on videotape to the police. That's how you got your money. That you went front line. Black power. We are one. And people fell for it. Because they felt the sympathy of what happened with George Floyd. Most people be like, man, how you know Stephen Jackson, George Floyd? And beside that, the only thing they know you from is the palace fight. All those years you played in the NBA, what did you have to show for it when it was all done? Nothing. But we rode for you, Jack. We rode for you so hard. We stood with you. We knew you was a little bit stupid, but we was like, man, he, he kind of slow, but I get where it's hard at. But it was all a ruse. This man came out and blamed all black women for his problems. Then said, I don't date black women. Like, I don't even know. I don't date black women. Damn, Jack. Just because you chose to marry one of the strippers you didn't met from a strip club <laughs> or wherever they be. I go to a strip club. I hit a couple of strippers. But they know I ain't putting no ring on no fingers. I ain't paying for the college tuition. I'm putting a couple of singles on it. <laughs> but on a serious note, Jack, you got a lot of growing up to do. Because you can't be in a position to educate women about women. Because you definitely don't know anything about them.
You don't, Jack. And I hate I gotta keep exposing you. I really do. I hate I gotta keep doing it. It's a waste of my time. But I think you like this. You just really, you don't care what you say. You just want some hits and views on your IG. So you like people coming to yell at you and call you an idiot. Right? You like that. Why do you think ESPN is in negotiations with this woman for a new contract? The tape was heard over a year ago, Jack. Over a year ago. And she wanted, she wanted Rachel gone off the show, right? Gone. She said, I don't want to work with her. She got to go. Because she was like, I'm going to leave the show and it was going to be Rachel's. This was last year. And they said, no. Mm-mm. Don't leave. We'll just put Rachel off the show. And they said, we'll do pre-records. See, the reason why is they had it in the contract. Right? She had it negotiated in her contract. That's what Rachel was talking about. It's in her contract. She had them approve that, that Rachel would have that access. Other colleagues that worked at ESPN, formerly, of course, has stated, since this has happened, that one thing that they could say about Rachel Nichols is they, is they were told when they came there, watch out for Rachel. You mess with her and her NBA, it's going to be problems. Don't cross her path. When it comes to her in the NBA. This is what a former black woman who worked at ESPN said. That when she came there, she knew that about Rachel. And Jack, you only capping for Rachel because she gave your dumb gorilla face. I'm sorry, you're not gorilla face. Godzilla face, a job. Kendrick Perkins, that's gorilla face. Why don't you and Perk just go ahead and do Kong Godzilla versus Kong 2? <laughs> Y'all just go right at it. You look at these two idiots wrestling in front of a bill. <laughs> Come on, Jack. I got you. <laughs> Yo, tag team partner of stupidity. So, I'm not going to make this video extra long, longer than what it needs to be. Don't forget to subscribe to Self Talk at Carcino for life. That's, so, you're already here. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the page. Uh, I'm about to watch some Loki because I missed out on the last episode. So, I'm going to have to watch the fifth one. And definitely follow at Kwame Brown Bus Life. Do not follow Steven Jackson on no platforms. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He's an idiot. I'm out.